Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about the cancer stem cell. Cancer stem cells are in different types of uh, cancers, but I'm going to describe this in blood cancer. So here is a hematopoietic stem cell, and one hematopoietic stem cell is going to be able to divide and create clone of itself, which is not a hematopoietic stem cell, but a progenitor cell. And a progenitor cell can receive signal from the surrounding and eventually differentiate to become blood cell. Depending on the signal, a blood cell can be red blood cell, macrophage, or any other. And a hematopoietic stem cell can create progenitors constantly, and all these progenitors can differentiate, become blood cells. One hematopoietic stem cell can actually create all blood cell a person needs. Blood cell that come from this hematopoietic stem cell is a clone. And the average person usually comes with 10,000 hematopoietic stem cells. I'm going to draw three here. One, two, three. And each can create a good amount of blood cells. And in a healthy individual, the size of this clone is usually balanced. But sometimes stem cell can get some kind of a growth advantage. Maybe it's from mutation or it's niche being a little bit better. Whatever the reason, this stem cell can now make more blood cells. Overall, this clone is going to be larger than the other clones of the stem cells in the tissue. And this in the blood is called clonal hematopoiesis. And clone can be anywhere between 2% of all blood cells all the way up to 100%. And in this 100% case, there is just one hematopoietic stem cell that make all the blood cells. The likelihood of a clonal hematopoiesis increases with age. Here is age on the x-axis and probability of clonal hematopoiesis on the y-axis. People less than 40 years old have about 1% chance of having clonal hematopoiesis, but people over 70 years old have anywhere between 10 to 20% chance of clonal hematopoiesis. And this is because as you age, these hematopoietic stem cells accumulate mutations, changes, etc. Most of these changes are not good, so the number of hematopoietic stem cells available will decrease. But some of these changes are going to be good, and that clone can now out blood cells. This is okay, as long as these blood cells do the work, carry oxygen, fight pathogen, whatever. But if this hematopoietic stem cell also acquires another bad mutation. The stem cell can outproduce but produce useless blood cells. And this accumulation of useless cells is cancer. All of these differentiated cells are similar except cancer cells cannot work. Cancer cells do not grow faster than stem cells. Yes, this advantageous stem cell is growing faster than these other two but it doesn't mean that the cancer cells that are made grow faster than any other cells now let's look at the general tumor you have many cells and within the tumor you can find cancer stem cells and these cells just as this problematic hematopoietic stem cell produce differentiated cells that cannot work and this is tumor formation. And as cancer stem cells make more of these useless differentiated cells, the tumor will grow. And finally, treatment interferes with the cell division. So when you apply chemotherapy to a tumor, the therapy is actually killing cells that grow fast, dividing. Again, it's not the cancer cells that are dividing, but these cancer stem cells that are dividing fast. And as a result, these treatments go after cancer stem cells and uh, slow down the growth of the tumor. So in summary, stem cells in different tissues produce progenitor cells that become that tissue's useful working specialized cells. But sometimes a stem cell can have an advantage in growth and they make more useful cells. That's okay. In blood cell, it's called clonal hematopoiesis. It's fine as long as that clone do the work. But 
if that clone cannot do the work, and this is because that stem cell gets some kind of problem, then that population is now cancer population. And if you look at a cancer population, you can usually find cells that are dividing fast and producing more problematic cancer cells. And those are the cancer stem cells. Treatments go after cells that grow fast. It's the cancer stem cells that are dividing fast and producing more useless differentiated cells, aka cancer cells.